This camp pillow sucks and this one is great. An uncomfortable camp pillow can ruin a trip while a good one can have you sleeping like a baby. Today I wanna to share with you four popular camp pillows that you should avoid and then four camp pillows that I think are worth buying. At last count, I have tested over 32 camp pillows. I don't know anyone who has tested that many. Crazy, maybe, but I like a good night's sleep. We're gonna start off with the worst pillows and this first one is an easy one and that's the X pillow from Climate. This is the worst pillow in existence. Not only does it feel super balloony as you lay on it, but it has this X in the middle that creates weird pressure points on your ears and face. I've heard that the X pillow may work well if you're in a hammock, but for me as someone who sleeps in tents, this is a garbage pillow. Down pillows like this one from Thermrest, they're okay, but I have two major issues with them. First of all, they're super expensive, way more expensive than pillows that aren't made with down. The other issue is that down compresses, as it's meant to do. Down is supposed to be compressible, but as you lay your head on the pillow and over the course of the night, you're going to compress that down and then lose all the cushion that you thought you're gonna get from it. So you're paying all this money to have down in your pillow, but then it's providing minimal cushion and warmth compared to other pillows. Similar to down, compressible pillows like this one, which has shreds of foam inside, are a catch-22. They're super comfortable until the foam compresses under your head and you're left with a kink in your neck. A compressible pillow might be a good option for some people out there like the Dan Beckers of the world, but if you have anything inside of your head that's gonna weigh down the pillow and compress that foam, then it's not gonna be a comfortable option. To add insult to injury, compressible pillows are pretty bulky and heavy as well. To pick on Thermarest a little bit more, they used to make one of the best pillow lines out there with the Airhead, but a couple years ago they changed their design for the worse. The Airhead now hits on three of my biggest pet peeves with camp pillows. The first one is that it feels like you're laying on a balloon. As you move your head on the pillow, the air inside the pillow shifts, making it very uncomfortable. The second issue, and this is something that we saw with all of the worst pillows that we're talking about today, and that's that there's no way to attach the pillow to your sleeping pad. And this is gonna lead to your pillow trying to run away from you throughout the night as you toss and turn. Other pillow manufacturers have figured out how to address this problem, and we'll take a look at the different options when we look at the best pillows. The third issue is the inflation valve on the thermal rest. This is the classic twist valve that you saw on all of Thermarest sleeping pads before and it's still on all their pillows and it's super annoying because it doesn't hold air if you stop blowing into it. So you have to be blowing into it and then continually blow into it as you close it up so that air doesn't escape. It's a terrible inflation method and something that we shouldn't be seeing anymore in this day and age. And that brings us to the best pillow options starting with the Trekology 2.0 pillow. This pillow has a lot going for it, starting with the fact that it will stick to your sleeping pad very well. It does that, first of all, by having a pad strap on it. So this pad strap goes around your sleeping pad and keeps it locked on. And the other thing that it has is little beads on the back of it. Even with a pad strap, your pillow might slide around a little bit, but the beads help mitigate that. The other thing that Trekology does well is that it's supportive of your head without feeling like a balloon. It has excellent baffling throughout. So as you're laying on it and kind of moving around on it, the air doesn't shift within the pillow, making it uncomfortable to lay on. The Trekology also has a soft and slightly stretchy material that it's made out of, which makes laying on it quite nice. It also has decent height to it. And that's something that we're gonna be talking about as we look at these best pillow options. Height can make a big difference, especially if you lay on your side. You wanna have a good distance from the sleeping pad to the top of the pillow so that you're not kinking your neck. To top it all off, the Trekology is only $20 and weighs under 100 grams, making it one of the lightest options that we're looking at today. If you do need a taller pillow because you have broader shoulders or just like being propped up a little bit more, then the Sea to Summit Premium is going to be a great option for it. It's the tallest pillow that we're looking at today at four inches tall. The caveat with the Sea to Summit Premium is that it's only a good pillow if you have the Sea to Summit pad strap attachment system. It consists of little hook and loop strips that you stick to your sleeping pad and then the material on the pillow allows it to then stick to those strips. You can only get this attachment system if you buy a Sea to Summit sleeping pad like the Etherlite XT. Luckily, the Etherlite XT is one of the most comfortable sleeping pads out there. So you're gonna have a good system with that pad and then this pillow. The Aeros Premium is this generally comfy as well, having a nice soft material and then a little bit of foam insulation on top just to add a little bit of comfort. It's not the cheapest pillow at $43, but it's quite light at 72 grams. And then we have this monstrosity of a pillow. This is the Nemo Philo pillow. What makes this super comfortable is it has about an inch and a half or two inch thick foam topper on it that is made with memory foam and is just amazing to lay on. This is the most comfortable pillow to lay on out of all of them because of that foam topper. But the trade-off is that it's insanely heavy and bulky, weighing over 250 grams. But if you don't care about weight or price or bulk and just want the most comfortable pillow out there, this is probably gonna be the one for you. It also has good height to it at 3.75 inches tall. And while it doesn't come with a pad strap, it has these loops and then a label on the other side that you can attach a piece of shot cord to in order to make a homemade pad strap. Well, I don't think Nemo intended to be able to add a pad strap to it, 
it was a very happy accident and makes it so that you can actually use this pillow effectively with a sleeping pad. And then we have another pillow that costs only $20. This is the Hike Encher. This pillow has a lot of features that make the Trichology great, great baffling. It has a pad strap on it, but then instead of just having kind of the rubbery outer material that you have on the Trichology, you have this pillowcase that you can wash, but then also has a little bit of foam insulation on top of here to add warmth to the pillow, as well as a little bit of comfort. I find that the baffling inside the Hike Encher is not quite as good as the Trichology. The Trichology is insanely supportive and comfortable to lay on, but the Hike Encher is a little bit taller than Trichology. So if you use the Trichology and you find that's just not quite tall enough for you, then the Hike Encher might be a good way to go. The pillowcase also adds a little bit of weight, pushing it over 100 grams to 147 grams in weight. If you're interested in finding the best sleeping pad, then go check out this video up there. I compare three of the most popular sleeping pads on the market so you can find the best sleeping pad to pair with your perfect pillow.